Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. And also, if you enjoy the content and want to be a part of our inner circle, consider supporting us on Patreon. It's where we share exclusive behind-the-scenes content, early access, and connect with you on a more personal level. Please check the link in the description. Let's start the video now. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle find themselves in a lose-lose situation, according to Cameron Walker, GB News Royal Correspondent. In the latest episode of the Royal Record podcast, Walker asserted that the couple cannot win amid mounting criticism. Walker, joined by GB News Royal Digital Editor Svar Nansen, discussed the Duke of Sussex's recent receipt of the Pat Tillman Award at the ESPYs. The award, named after the late Pat Tillman who died in 2004 while serving the U.S. military in Afghanistan, is given in recognition of exceptional service. Tillman had left a lucrative NFL career to serve in the military. The Duke of Sussex attended the award ceremony with his wife, the Duchess of Sussex. However, Mary Tillman, Pat Tillman's mother, criticized Prince Harry receiving the award, calling him divisive, responding to the criticism during his acceptance speech. Prince Harry acknowledged the personal significance of Mary Tillman's advocacy for her son's legacy and expressed his respect for her efforts. During the podcast, Nanan Sen noted that sources close to Prince Harry indicated he was stunned by the backlash of his nomination. He highlighted Prince Harry's decision to address Mary Tillman in his speech, emphasizing his respect for her family's efforts and stating that he accepted the award not as a royal, but as a representative of the Invictus Games Foundation. Nanan said he also said he was accepting the award not as Prince Harry, but as a representative of the Invictus Games Foundation. So I think that's where his head is at, that the Invictus Games are bigger than him in terms of their impact on the military community. Walker responded by reiterating the challenges faced by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Yes, to be honest, it's a lose-lose situation for Harry at this point, he said. He's created a lot of enemies, or non-fans, because of what's happened over the last four years. Whatever he does, no matter how good he's doing at the Invictus Games or whatever prestigious awards he's winning, there's always going to be people at the moment who are going to chastise him for that and get very angry about that. Whatever he does or whatever Meghan does, they can't win. The couple, who stepped back from their roles as working royals, have spoken openly about their negative experiences within the royal family through various platforms, including Netflix documentaries, high-profile interviews, and memoirs. Their candid revelations have strained their relationships with other members of the royal family, including Prince William and Princess Kate. Once referred to as the Fab Four, the two couples are reportedly not on speaking terms. Walker concluded by noting the ongoing fallout from the couple's revelations and the challenges they face in rehabilitating their public image. It's going to be really interesting to see how they navigate that and whether they can turn things around. The amount of damage they did, as someone would see with the Netflix series and memoir Spare, is lasting, and I think they're still in the fallout from that. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continue to navigate the complex landscape of public opinion and media scrutiny, their efforts to champion causes like the Invictus Games will be closely watched. Despite the obstacles, their dedication to their chosen causes remains unwavering, reflecting their commitment to making a positive impact on the face of adversity. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my sizzling royal updates like this, subscribe and press the bell icon. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.